Today's lesson in algebra is on solving and graphing two-step inequalities. So let's begin by talking about the rules for graphing inequalities. So we're going to use an open circle for less than or greater than signs. We will use a closed circle for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to sign. So an open circle would literally be a circle that's open. When I say closed circle, I mean it's a circle that is colored in. So we're going to graph the following inequalities on the number line. So our first one reads X is less than three. And let's actually take a minute real quick to review inequalities. So remember this means less than. When you have a less than and a line under it, that's less than or equal to. Then we have greater than. It's like it's eating the bigger number. And lastly, we have greater than or equal to. Okay, so this one is X is less than three. So it's just less than. So if we look back up here at our rules, it says to use an open circle when you have less than. So I'm gonna find three on the number line and put an open circle. Then when we do less than or less than or equal to, we're going to draw a line to the left. So I like to remember less than and left. So I'm gonna draw an arrow that points to the left. So that would mean X is less than three. All right, I'm gonna let you try number two. For number three, it says X is greater than or equal to seven. So my first step would be to find seven on our number line. And I also have to look at what my inequality is. So it says X is greater than or equal to seven. So remember, if we have greater than or equal to, that means we have to use a closed circle. So I'm gonna put a closed circle on seven. And whenever I have greater than, whether it's greater than or equal to, or just plain old greater than, I draw an arrow to the right. So I would draw an arrow going this way. All right, I'm gonna let you try number four on your own. For number five, it says to write an inequality given the graph. So the first thing I would do is identify what number your circle is on. So I know it's at negative two. All right, then I would look at which way your arrow is facing. Because again, and I'll put it here, remember it's less than. If it's less than, the arrow will be left. And if it's greater than, the arrow will be pointing to the right. All right, so my arrow is pointing to the left. So I know I have a less than symbol. So my answer, well, first we have to check, is this an open or a closed circle? It's open. So when it's open, that means we either have less than or greater than, and we just said our arrow was pointing to the left. So that's why it has to be less than. All right, let's try number six. So on number six, we'll always start with we have X and then either greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So on this one, I can see that I have my dot at four. So I know it's gonna have something to do with four. So then we're gonna look which way is our arrow facing and this time it's pointing to the right. Well, right means we have to have either a greater than or greater than or equal to symbol. So the last thing we're gonna do is check to see if it's colored in. And it is a colored in closed circle. So we would know we have greater than or equal to. So our inequality would be X is greater than or equal to four. 
All right, I'm gonna let you try number seven and eight on your own. All right, then we have rules for solving inequalities. So it says you must flip the inequality symbol when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So all the other rules with solving an inequality are just like we did when we were solving an equation. And you guys did great with solving equations. So the only new rule that we have to remember is that when you're like at your final step solving for your variable like x, if in that final step you have to multiply or divide by a negative number, like say it's at like negative 2x and you need it to divide by negative 2, it would flip your inequality. So let's try a couple. Let's look at number nine. So we're gonna treat this just like we were solving an equation. Pre pretend it said three X plus two is equal to negative four. It's the same thing. But this one says three X plus two is less than negative four. So our first step would be to move our positive two and get it to the other side because we're trying to get X by itself. So to undo my addition, I'm gonna subtract two from both sides. When I do that, four, or negative four minus two gives me negative six. So I have three X is less than negative six. I'm gonna divide by three, divide by three. I'm not dividing by a negative, so this is just like normal. So when I divide negative six divided by three, I get negative two. So you only flip the sign when you're dividing by a negative number. So I would get that X is less than negative two. All right, so if we go ahead and graph this, we are going to first put a, our number line down. So let's label some points. We'll call this negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one. And we need to put a point at negative two, and it's just less than, so less than is an open circle. And since it's less than, we have to remember less than means left, L and L. So my arrow is gonna be pointing to the left, and that would be your answer. All right, on the next one, it says X over six plus two is greater than negative one. So same thing, don't overthink it. You guys are really good at solving equations. So the first thing we're gonna do is subtract that positive two to the other side. When we do that, we get X plus six is greater than negative one minus two is negative three. To get rid of this six, I multiply by six because that six is being divided. So my six divided by six cancels and I end up with X is greater than negative 18. So if we put some numbers on our number line, let's just say we did negative 20, negative 19, negative 18, negative 17, and so on. I know I'm starting at negative 18. So at negative 18, I'm gonna put an open circle because it's just greater than, it's not greater than or equal to. So since it's greater than, greater than means we go to the right. So that would be my graph for number 10. All right, moving on to number 11. So we have negative seven X plus eight is less than or equal to one. So same thing like we've been doing, our first step is gonna move that positive eight and to get a, an eight that's being added to the other side, we subtract it. So we'd be left with negative seven X is less than or equal to, and one minus eight is negative seven. To get that X by itself, I'm gonna have to divide both sides by negative seven. 
So this is a big deal. I'm dividing by a negative. That was our rule. Remember, the rule said when you divide by a negative, you flip the sign. So I'm going to flip it to x is greater than or equal to. So all, I literally took this sign and flipped it to the other direction. Then negative 7 divided by negative 7 gives me a positive 1. So my answer is x is greater than or equal to positive 1. So now when I graph this, if I put a couple numbers on here, I want to show when x is greater than or equal to 1. So it's greater than or equal to, so I put a closed dot on 1. It's greater than, so I draw an arrow to the right. All right, I am going to let you try number 12 and 13 by yourself. All right, on number 14, it says three minus four X is less than 31. So I always move the thing that's not touching the X first. This three is positive. It doesn't matter that there's subtraction after it. The three is positive. So to move it to the other side, I'd have to subtract it because three minus three is zero. If you would have done three plus three, it would have made six and you didn't cancel anything out. So we had to subtract three. So three minus three is zero. I'm still left with this negative four X. So I have negative four X as less than 31 minus three is 28. So now I'm at negative four X is less than 28. Divide both sides by negative four. And there goes our alert again. We just divide it by a negative. So when we divide by a negative, our sign flips, so instead of it being less than, it's now greater than. 28 divided by negative four is negative seven. All right, so if I put some numbers on our number line, and this, it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure, obviously, the number you need is on that number line. So it's X is greater than, so it's an open circle on negative seven, because remember, if it's greater than or equal to, that's when it's colored in. And it's greater than, and greater than is to the right. So my arrow goes to the right. All right, on number 15, we have 3 fourths x plus 5 is greater than 11. All right, so again, I move the thing that's not touching the x first. So I'd have to move this positive 5. So move it to the other side, I would subtract five. I have three fourths X is greater than 11 minus five is six. So now we have to remember how we undo a fraction. So remember you can either divide by three fourths or multiply by the reciprocal, which would be four over three. When we multiply by the reciprocal, everything cancels out and I'm left with X is greater than, to figure this out, we would do six times four, which is 24, divided by three is eight. So X has to be greater than eight. So when I go to graph this, it's just greater than, there's not a line underneath, so I draw an open circle, and greater than means to the right. All right, I am going to let you try number 16 on your own. <laughs> All right, the last one I'm going to do with you guys is number 20. Um, for number 20, it says x plus 11 divided by negative 2 is less than negative 2. So in order to even think about getting to this top, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by negative 2. Because that negative 2 is being divided. So this negative 2 will cancel with that negative 2. When I do that, I get x plus 11. 
and I multiplied by a negative. Remember, that was one of our rules. We haven't seen it yet. When you multiply by a negative, it also switches the signs. So this is gonna become greater than, I switched it from less than, because I multiplied both sides by a negative two. So that's now greater than. Then negative two times negative two is positive four. Subtract 11, subtract 11, and we get x is greater than negative seven. All right, so when we go to graph this, let me put a couple numbers on my number line. I'm gonna start at negative seven. It's an open circle because it's just greater than, not greater than or equal to, and it's greater than, which means I go to the right. All right, that concludes your video on solving two-step inequalities and graphing them.